This is the story of Kathleen Coban and a brief account of how she spent the year previous to her death at the early age of 13 years. It is a sad story, but the sad stories of this world are oftentimes the best. Kathleen was born in the industrial town of Perth in Scotland in 1933. She was two years old when her mother died from tuberculosis and her father left the child in an orphanage. As her twelfth birthday approached, it was noticed that she had been ailing for some time. So the nuns arranged to send her to her grandmother, who lived in Clockmore on Apple Island. I also felt that during that time I was close to a very holy child. She was always fond of prayer, and the rosary was her favourite. With the beads under the bedclothes, her eyes closed and her lips moving silently, she said rosary after rosary. And when Kathleen sat beside me, I felt I was close to a saint. A little saint who liked to play games, to get letters and presents, and loved to nestle close to anyone who was fond of her. The nurse reasoned with her and told her she would sleep and have no pain, and in spite of herself Kathleen blurted out, but I don't mind pain, I want to suffer for our Lord. Kathleen's lips moved in prayer, and then she looked at Rita and said, I have just said a prayer for you, and you'll never again have a headache. Rita is still alive, is married and has two in family, a boy and a girl. And she acknowledges that although she used to suffer from bouts of splitting headaches from her childhood, she never had suffered one since that moment that Kathleen had assured her. It was hard to realise that the child I had known, had played games with, and who had so often sat on my knees, had already gone on to that long journey up to eternity, had seen God and now knew what heaven was like.